Talking about City Academy players, Cole Palmer scored four goals, four goals against a good, solid Brighton. That is for fuck's sake. Like FPL is like bonkers right now, and all of you guys who had Palmer in in that like have just completely lucked out. But like, do you think? Why uh, lucked out? What do you mean lucked out? Luck out is just getting Haaland and keeping him forever. That is luck out. That is <laughs> a strategy, bro. That is going by the book. That That's is Haaland's right strategy. Palmer is luck out. Amazing, lovely, long season. Um, yeah, but coming back to the, like. Chelsea, right? So we saw a lot of incomings at Chelsea, and we'll do a review of that in a bit. But who would have thought Palmer would still be the center of all attention in Chelsea and winning them games single-handedly? I wish we had Animesh is... here, who made a very <laughs> bold claim that Palmer won't be cold anymore. Cold, yeah. <laughs> Palmer uh, Palmer is cold. Yeah, cold in the morgue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just like a, a brilliant player in chaos, man. Uh, that's that's why when you said like a brilliant team like Brighton, I don't really know. Brighton were playing with a really high intensive line. Kind of perfect for players like Sancho, Palmer, Jackson. <laughs> They can exploit that really well. Palmer's definitely like improved his game. He's a, an output machine. But then again, I would like to see him struggle against teams like low blocks and like uh, tougher teams. I would like to see him perform in bigger games. You know, just like for for years and years, Saka was performing well, but people were like, if you haven't done it in the Champions League, you haven't really done it. So I would like for everyone to keep the same energy for Palmer as well. And just before coming onto the pod, I saw a meme where uh, Chelsea sold uh, Mount for sixty five million and. Bought Palmer for 40 million in the same transfer window and we got one goal out of Mount in this time frame and they got like what close to 40 40 goal contribution yeah so it's just uh, ridiculous and he's he's just good and I also saw another stat I didn't see the game but I saw a stat that like he did not have any dribbles it was all like shots just like clinical striker top notch and I'm seeing some clips where he gave a ridiculous through ball over the back line one of the major reasons why he's doing so well is because he's the main man in this Chelsea team and they're giving him the second striker free roaming sort of like role yeah. if you see Arsenal games you'd see Saka just hugged to the touchline like almost like chained like you you have this small little space don't even dare move out of this space stay there take the ball pass it that's Saka's role if we put Saka somewhere in the centre I I'm, I'm sure he will get so many more goals because he's good at shooting, he's good at good in small spaces. Even Foden, people like, I think Pep and Arteta have made it a point of chaining their wingers for somehow. Palmer, like, he's been he's been so good, man. Even in the Euros, mm. like, just the impact he's had. Uh, yeah. Just hate the fact that he plays for Chelsea. And yeah. I guess you guys hate it too, he's a United fan, so. Like I said, I think we have too many problems in our own house that, like, I can't pick points like these small what-ifs to feel bad about my club. But, yeah, we have enough things to feel Yeah, it, is it scary? Is it scary that Chelsea are getting good or is it just like a weak running of games and now they're going to get found out? Neera, what's your... The latter. I think the latter. The latter. They'll get found out. What are their fixtures looking like? Sid, do you know? We'll make Neera predict their fixtures. (laughs) In Chelsea, in in the league, they play Forest. And then they play and Liverpool yeah. after the international. Yeah. I think that the tough is going to be Anfield. the game. Anfield is then, there and Europa League is starting also. Europa um, League is starting. Sorry, Conference League. That's our victory, right? Starting. So, <laughs> con- Conference League. It's very interesting what they've done with Champions League, Europa League and Conference League. I don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Champions League doesn't happen in the same week as Europa League anymore and Conference League anymore. It's a different yeah. week altogether. So it's like Champions League week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Europa League week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then conference yeah. week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We know who's playing which week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing because there's no like Thursday. Yeah, wait. Yeah, wait from us. <laughs> <laughs> So their next three, their next four Premier League games are Forest, Liverpool, Old Newcastle, uh, Newcastle, United, and Chel- and uh, and Chelsea and Arsenal. Arsenal. So yeah, oh, that's, sh- uh, so they have Anfield, the Old Trafford, and uh, Newcastle and Arsenal coming to Stamford Bridge. And within yeah. in, in between of all of this, they have EFL round of sixteen. They have yeah. Conference League. So this is the sort of run where I want to see if they have the cojones or not. Uh, next four yeah. games will will 
डिसाइड व्हाट व्हाट चेल्सी आर एंड आई गेस वी कैन रिजर्व अवर जजमेंट टिल देन आई बेट विल यू बी सरप्राइज्ड इफ मरास्का इन व्हेन दे कम टू ओल्ड ट्रैफर्ड विल यू बी सरप्राइज्ड इफ दे आर नॉट इन द टॉप 4 बाय देन और विल यू नॉट एट ऑल नॉट यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग देम नॉट टू बी इफ दे आर आई विल बी वेरी सरप्राइज्ड इफ दे आर स्टिल इन द टॉप 4 एंड लाइक जस्ट यू नो playing really well momsi your call bro what do you think they have so many players for depth you said red right? finals in the house they have depth they fought depth for like ages so he if the manager is any good they know they're going to ride it out so they have the kill switch in there and i think <laughs> dude we made fun of them on this podcast and they're more prepared than we've ever been and that's what i meant before like questions need to be asked of anyone like when you're like spending money so much on a manager and everything like you need to think about stuff they bought in a lot of players as well as like oh, he can't fit in the gym and like, all these things going on but like if you if you want to ride all these waves with like sustain the you know operation play all these games you have that and i feel like the transfer window they i think they did it right i the fine side i i think they did it right and this is your love for being say it's funny because when we started this podcast like <laughs> when we started this podcast frank lampard was the manager of chelsea <laughs> oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> And mm. then and Tenag was the manager of United, and we are at this stage that Frank Lampard to Mauricio Pochettino, Pochettino to Enzo Maresca, Pochettino is a man, the manager of US national team. So many things have happened, but Tenag has stayed. Two trophies, two trophies, two trophies. Respect, only two trophies. You don't get the third one. Only one guy gets the third one. All all PL managers combined, not more than me. Two. <laughs>